We do have new images tonight of the moment a man sitting in a chair at a pool party calmly pulls out a gun and starts firing. Take a look, the shooter, this man sitting right there, suddenly unleashing a volley of gunfire, shooting seven people, killing one of them, taking the time at one point to reload. Authorities say as he was doing it, he was on the phone with his girlfriend, making her listen to what he was doing. ABC senior national correspondent Matt Guffman on the scene in La Jolla. Tonight, that first glimpse of the man who terrorized this upscale San Diego apartment complex. You can see the shooter, Pete Sellis, feet up on that lounge chair, then casually pointing his gun. Yo, yo. Seconds later, a shot. Just after 6 p.m. Sunday, police say Sellis had emptied at least one full clip at the party goers around this pool. We literally saw people jumping out from the fences and running away like crazy. In the panic, chairs tossed into the water, blood everywhere. 6.13 p.m. Police arrive on the scene, a police chopper spotting the suspect. Two to three people down. The suspect is reloading his gun in the pool area. White male, 40. Seconds later, officers close in. Police say Celis fires and officers return fire. Celis was pronounced dead at the scene and around him, carnage and terror. College student Kayla Wong got trapped in this jacuzzi. He said, you can either stay and die or you can leave. And they said, can we at least help our friend? And he said, no, I said, you can either stay and die or you can leave. One woman was killed and six others were shot, all of them people of color. But tonight, police say it was not race, but the 49-year-old mechanic's breakup with his girlfriend that triggered that rampage. Sulla stayed on the phone talking to his ex-girlfriend as he continued to fire his weapon. It is apparent that Sulis wanted his ex-girlfriend to listen in as he carried out his rampage. And Matt Gutman joins us now from the scene. And Matt, at first there was talk that this was a hate crime, but police do not believe that that was the motive? That's right, David. Police are calling this a, quote, spontaneous act of violence. They say there is zero indication that race played a role. Those victims just happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. But the one bright spot, all of the wounded are expected to recover. David. Matt Duckman on the scene in California. Matt